This is my method for making sand cores. All the ingredients can be bought from your local supermarket. The first ingredient is molasses. This is thoroughly mixed with some boiling water. one measure, I use an aerosol cup of clean rolling sand followed by three measures of silver sand silica sand, it's the stuff you use for uh, putting in block paving then we have one measure of cornstarch which is corn flour this acts as a binding agent and helps roll it all together The measurements aren't critical as long as you get somewhere near. This is all blended together and you let it drill. Once it's thoroughly mixed, you slowly add the water to that mix. The moisture content is quite critical. You need to try and get a nice fluffy consistency, a bit like porridge. Bastard! Hey, these things happen. I had a similar thing with a corn flour, as you can see by the state of my jumper. A simple method for a mould for the core is a piece of stainless steel tube, or steel tube, or plastic tube, the size of the core you want. This is split down one side and held closed by two jubilee clips. As you can see here, the sand is nice and crumbly and light, not sticky and horrible. You don't need a great lot of force, it's filled from each end and gently pushed down with a finger. If you compress it too tight, the core will be too hard and it won't collapse when the metal is cast. A piece of steel rod, I think it's 5mm, is pushed right through the centre of the core and pulled out either end, not pushed in and pulled back, pushed all the way through. This helps the core vent as it's being cast. This is the clever bit. The hose clips are loosened off, allowing the pipe to expand. On the bench I've got a bit of quarter plate. This is nice and stiff and won't flex when it's in the oven. Once the clips are loosened off, the core is generally pushed through. It comes out nice and smooth. I only need one core for the cast I'm going to do. But you might as well cook a couple because you don't know what will happen, you might break one or drop one. And once the oven's on, you might as well cook two. The next bit is probably best done when the wife's out somewhere, bingo, shopping, whatever. The plate and the cores are put on top of the oven and cooked at 200 degrees C until they stop smoking. The smell's not too bad, it smells like a treacle cake being cooked. Better cores can be made using linseed oil 
instead of molasses, but they actually stink the house out. Here you can see the core in the mould ready to go. That just about sorts things out as far as core making goes. But I am going to do some casting today and I've got the camera here. So I think I'll just let it go and I'll put uh, Didier's casting on as well. What's happening here is, I'm scraping the dross off the top of the molten pot of bronze. Some people might laugh at all the safety gear I've got on, but I don't want skin grafts, I don't like burns. This is looking good. Excellent casting. Doesn't always turn out this way, but when it does, it's very, very rewarding. <laughs> 